Ice blocks June's fridge in Sunning Hill. The fix was hot, salty water applied with suitable care. And then June's hairdryer. And finally, a bit of mechanical persuasion with a screwdriver. The result was we managed to get the food out and June was very pleased. Unfortunately that wasn't the end of the story because we had to just disconnect the fridge. Almost certainly Robin splashing water at the back is why we had the power cut. June noticed a month or two back that an enormous amount of ice had started to build up here probably because somebody like Robin had left the door open or something but whatever the reason June has already been working on it for half an hour and I've been helping for probably at least as long uh, by pouring hot water in believe it or not and we're gradually making progress but let's try a little bit more so stand clear June Oh, you managed to get some, some more of the stuff out yeah. now. Oh good, that's progress. Oh right. So you managed to get some more stuff out. It's still good and cold. Right, we're chucking a bit more hot water in. We need to be ready to mop it up June. Yeah. Black and white. Here we go. Look at that, that ice there. Right, so it's all pouring down there. The main purpose of the towels are to stop water flooding back underneath. I do recall that being a technique at university if vandals were pouring water into your room. We might have cracked it, just needs a bit more time. But time is valuable, and there are never enough minutes in the day. So, the source of hot water, kettle also there, and rather than fresh water, add in a little bit of salt. Okay, ready to stand clear, June, for another dose? Okay, stand clear. Here he comes. Careful. Oh, I did. I made a mistake. It went in the back. Right, there we go. right idea is June's hairdryer so she's just finding out where her other stuff plugs in there like the iron iron for women's work and um, when it's powered on that's a good source of heat June's made quite a lot of progress so what's the situation now June yes it moves yeah I can't quite get it all the way right. out yet. Right, so it might be a case of a bit of brute force of ignorance, but you probably best not film that. We soon diagnosed that it wasn't just the catch here, but it's the ice yeah, here. No, get out of my way, dear. You're in the way. Your head. I don't think it's a good idea to pull that on my head, is it? Right, well, move. No, you can wait a couple of seconds. <laughs> Right, so putting hot water on it, which is now I've got to get up quickly, otherwise it'll be flooding. Well done, dear. Although I think it would have been done with careful use of that quicker. But obviously, you've got to be careful not to break the plastic. Oh, 
Yes, we've got to the last little bit. And June, you take over the camera. And it was just this bit of ice here, it was the last bit. And there we go. All the difficult work done. Just got the tidy up now. So that decides what we have probably this evening fish because that has actually defrosted. The rest of it hadn't. Unfortunately, that wasn't the end of the story because we had to just disconnect the fridge. Almost certainly, Robin splashing water at the back is why we had the power cut. However, June cleverly points out that that's not the only fridge. We have an alternate fridge here. And so there's a practical problem in terms of enough space for things, but that's all. So we can manage for a while until this is put right. It agrees that this outside thermometer might be quite useful to see what temperature the freezer's at. Oh, what a pity. All the snow has gone. All the snow hasn't quite gone, 